Officials from the Uganda Human Rights Commission, led by their chairperson Maria Mwangadia, met the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, to hand over to any reports on the human rights situation in Uganda in both 2019 and 2020. According to the commission, they delayed to release the report because of the untimely death of the former chairperson of the commission, Haj Medical Gwa. The reports indicate human rights violations such as torture, child rights violations escalated during the COVID-19 period. The speaker challenged the commission to write reports on issues affecting the common person instead of dwelling on the violation of human rights of politicians who are seeking for political space. The ordinary person in the village we don't we never have these discussions the things that disturb our people in the villages nobody talks about them but we meet in these big boardrooms and talk about human rights when we are talking about people who have been uh, in the riot and they were beaten by police and uh, people who have done this and uh, people who have taken others properties those are big people able people but what about the ordinary person he says there is a big gap between the commission and the people and that common people have not been sensitized about their rights. There is a disconnect, complete disconnect and they form the majority of this country. So I think our discussion should extend, move the, from boardrooms and we start dealing with issues that also affect the human rights issues that affect the ordinary person. Some of them don't even know that they have this right. All the institutions of government, we seem to be completely detached from the ordinary people. The Uganda Human Rights Commission and other advocacy organizations are funded by international organizations and stakeholders, but recently government banned one of their major funders, the Democratic Governance Facility, citing irregularities. Olanya had something to say on the matter. Our human rights issues cannot have foreign people doing it. They have their own agenda, they have their interests, they have what they pick and run with and broadcast globally. Some of them are not that relevant to us, but that's what they pick and run with and end up painting a completely different image of this country. We end up in these situations because we are sourcing for funding from other people. He who pays the piper calls the tune. I give you money, I tell you what to do, and you do it. Marian Mwangadia, the chairperson of the commission, says they often seek funds from foreign partners because of low funding from the government. Mwangadia says huge funding gap impedes the work of the commission. To request that the government fulfills its duty to fund the Uganda Human Rights Commission. Currently, we have a funding gap of close to 14 billion shillings this financial year. And uh, I think the speaker's comment was derived from my remarks. I said that beggars have no dignity and they have no secrets. And that we are tired of stripping ourselves naked before foreigners. Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition.